Hi guys, Lima here again. Okay, so next video is going to be on your three tabs under the control panel. So first is your manage character pad. Here you will have your avatar, which I talked about in the last video. It's just the picture people see when they look at your character. You have... Oh, shoot, I keep doing this. Hold on. I need to be careful about that back button. Anyways, uh, are you kidding me? Okay, I just keep pressing the toy house thing. Whatever, we'll just hurry up and go edit it real fast. So, let's try this again. Okay, so in your control panel, you have ma you have your avatar, the edit profile. Your profile is what you see when you go... Why won't it let me do it? When you go here, and it'll be under this little info box right here. And then... Um, tabs is a section kind of thing you can do. I will have a separate video on that because tabs is a completely different story and it's kind of complex. Um, history would be the history of the, um, yeah, profile edits made to the character. Um, so and then your manage images is just going to be where you upload an image directly to the character instead of having to go to submit image. You can do manage images, which means you can change the watermark, add NSFW content if there is, delete it if you want, and then your sort images would be what order you want them in. For example, if you kept uploading characters of, uh, kept uploading pictures of characters, you'd want the ref sheet to stay on the top, so you'd move it up every now and then. Um, next would be manage literatures, and literatures are essentially just mini stories, I guess you could say. They have, like, interaction, accessibility, warn they have warnings, of course. And it's pretty much just the story area. Bulletins aren't the same as literatures. There's a little bit of a difference, but in my opinion, it's not that much. So, for example, I'm going to show you all about the edit profile thing. So here you're going to have what folder it's in, the tags, visible to in the listing, and then you're going to have this little thing right here. So, although it can't code, I do know that if you're just trying to type a normal bio, you can leave this button like that. But if you're doing a code, like HTML code, which you can find out about on the forum, you're going to want to press this once you're done. Oh, actually, just, just press that so that, you know, everything stays in order. So advanced, I don't know anything on the advanced file, I'm sorry. But really, if, this is just the basics, so you're not really going to need that. So update character. And it's pretty much all you need for that. Fields are like, okay, for example, like age is, I can say she's 17. I can put her species is lemon panda. I haven't explored how this looks like on the main page yet, though, so I'm going to do that. Now we can go look at her. Yeah, and then it puts, like, a b actual bio thing without you having to, like, type out, like, the bold italics. It just straight up does it for itself. Um, accidentally restarted the page. So, that's all you're really gonna need for characters. But, I guess I should also real fast go through, since I have a few more seconds. Sorting characters. Here, it'll show you all your folders. Once again, they'll have its own video. And you can drag them. <laughs> This makes it so you can put them in a certain order. Like, for example, most of these characters are for sale. So I want my actual, like, other stuff that isn't for sale on top. And remember to hit the save button at the bottom of the page when you're done. So you'll just press save order. This is the exact same thing on your computer, guys. Because I actually, someone specifically asked me about folders on the computer. It is the exact same on the phone. If you really want to think about it, all you have to do is go to here and desktop site, and it's literally the same as it is on your computer. So you don't really have to worry about, like, cross-platforms and, like, how it works differently, because it's the exact same website. There's nothing different about it. So, that's all for this video. Next, I will focus on tags. Actually, no. I'm going to focus on images, because I haven't made a video on that yet. And after that will be tags, and then I think... I'll do a short, quick video on the rest of the stuff under the submit button. And after that, I think that should be it. The only thing, okay, the only thing I do want to say 
Character settings, your transaction history. This little thing right here, I really shouldn't be showing this, but it doesn't really matter, so it's just my trades. This will show you all the transactions made to your account. For example, I, all these Dove Flies to Panda Pop ones, I was switching characters over to my phone, over to my account from my old account that I gave to my friend. And here you can see my friend Mouse sent me a character. Um, you can see when I sent someone a character. For example, I sent Mel in a character here. And that's pretty much all when it comes to account. That's in your account management. The account management, I guess I could explain that real fast. Oh, I just showed stuff I shouldn't have. Oops. Um, here you can like reset your password, put a new password in, uh, birthday stuff, and then your avatar, which is the little image that shows up right here. Of course, actually, shows up on your account, but that's just my feature character. But yeah, okay, I will end this video here. Next video should be out literally 10 minutes after this because I'm going to start uploading these one by one until I start getting more requests and then I'll space them out a bit. So thank you for watching. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Good luck.